Boris, how you doing? So we're here to do your uh, February, uh, no, I said, nearly said February, January, unless you call January, or you're beginning with J, Jasmine, I'm also hearing Jasmine, or Vajazzle, Taurus, um, or uh, Jenny. Jenny, don't be hasty. It's like, listen, Jenny, don't be hasty. You might look in pasty, but we've got no time to waste, Jen. So you got, no, there's no time. I'm sorry, but time's run out. It feels like that this clock is ticking, and it's like a ticking time bomb of a clock running out. It's like I am run out of patience. And so you're definitely dealing with a round of Pisces or a Libra, Taurus. Um, but uh, yeah, don't be hasty. Let's get going. Let's get moving. So something is moving. What on earth is this? Hopefully it's not an alien inside someone's stomach. I don't know. Because I'm here. Let's get moving. Let's get things moving. Richard or Pryor? Um, but yeah, Taurus. So something to do with Richard. Richards. Richardson. Richardson. Or Richard's son. Something to do with the name Richard or their son. Um, or the son, which is also Leo. So something to do with that is what I'm picking up. Taurus. Um, but yeah, let's get cracking, cracking, jacking, Jackie, <laughs> probably a crack pot. I don't know. I'm hearing like, is this person potty or is it potty training or are they potty training somebody, a dog or a cat? I don't know. Potty training, potty training, <laughs> some strange things comes into my head, Taurus. Um, but anyway, this is for your February, <laughs> not a channeled stuff. Uh, February for Taurus. What's been going on, Taurus? So we're going to look at your past. I will as explain as we go on. It's like, because uh, I just can't go on. So like I can't go on anymore. Listen, I just can't. I can't take the shit anymore, Danny. I'm sorry, Danny. You might be more of a Danny Zuko, but to be honest, I can't take this anymore. So I'm just standing, just standing, just as, as it stands. I got stood up. Oh dear, hopefully not. Somebody got stood up. Or, or an Aries, I'm picking up an Aries stood up off the crown, like listen, I, <laughs> sorry I'm picking up uh, Queen's Gambit, but just stood up off my crown, off my crown, or oh, off to Crown Court, ooh, for a lot of you, you went to court, Crown Court here is, uh, some people have said, Steve, what's Crown Court, Crown Court is the High Court, so if you go to court, you go to, so on, I've never been, but I know that Crown Court is where it goes through the small courts, and then it, if it goes to Crown Court, that's where you, you know, you're convicted fucking lunatic, and that might be the pot. So <laughs> that might be the fact that someone just got caught with a load of weed or something, or like they go to Crown Court and they have to go and visit, and they have to go to court for it. Man, someone got caught for possession, is what I'm hearing. Someone got caught for possession, or or an obsession. Well, I mean, hopefully it's not a possession. And someone won't be going to court, or oh, they'll be going to an asylum. Unless your name's Simon. But like, oh, we're going straight to Simon, or we're going straight for Sassy, or we're going straight for Steve, or we're going straight for the S's. Whichever way it is, is we're going to have to go over the T's, over the I's, over the S's, S, T, Steve. <laughs> we're going to have to go straight to Steve. So, oh, come. Come visit. <laughs> come see. Uh, come see what I can see. Um, but anyway, eight cups, Taurus. So, yeah. It's like, look, i am just been stood up. I don't know. Have you been stood up or did it go to Crown Court? This is what I'm hearing. There are messages that are coming through. Let's go to the Pisces. Let's be schooled again. Let's be going around it again. So it's like it's all coming back around, or it did, Taurus, uh, for a lot of you. Uh, if you are, oh, sorry if I haven't explained. This is the past. We're going to the future in a minute. But uh, this is still your future, really. This person is your future. Oh, yeah, this Pisces is your future. This is your past, present, and future. They are schooling you. You've either gone into a third party unit and got dumped by one, or you went to another one, or you went back to your mum, and you said, Mum, listen, what's going on? I just got dumped. Oh, no. No. What happened there? Mum, I got stood up. I got stood up. Because somebody, well, basically, somebody left to go to Water Pisces and said, I'm going to have to go and see Steve. I'm going to have to go and see the Pisces. I'm going to have to go and see them, or Emily, or Emma, or M, or Maria. But I'm going to have to go and see them. I'm sorry, but I'm off to see them, because I am off to see the wizard here. So, the wizard, hopefully it's not the Yellow Brick Road and the, uh, well, it could be. I'm picking up... Uh, the song, but the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, and someone's kind of like clicking their heels together, <laughs> as what I feel, unless they've got their legs open, who knows, but uh, I'm definitely uh, 
got my uh, I'm hearing I've definitely got my eye on you that's for sure got my eye on a Pisces or a, or an eye on someone's mother oh dear I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my mum some of you Tauruses you've had to keep your eye on the feminine mother energy now it's either your mother or someone's mother or your husband or what or your husband's mother <laughs> might be your husband's mother it's probably the in-laws or the name Laura uh, but I'm going to have to keep the eye on Laura. I'm telling you what, she's up to something. I know she is. Or uh, I'm going to have to keep the eye on the in-laws because they're around. Oh, God, are they come back around again? It's like, Jesus Christ, they're always here, aren't they? Taurus. But uh, <laughs> it's like uh, I'm going to have to keep my eye on this Pisces. I'm telling you what, because well, they, all they really have to do is just sit there. So I don't know if you got dumped by one and you're off to another because these Pisces and Aquarian energies, Aquarius, Leo, They've been around, bruv. They're parts of people's Pisces pieces of chart. And say that if you can. Pieces of Pisces in the pie of chart. Pieces pies chart. What? Pieces pies chart. Pie charts. Something Jai. The name Jai. Or someone's shy. Someone's shy to approach a Pisces and they're like, listen, don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Or don't be Jai. 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 Shire. The name Shire. Or Jaya, or Jaya, or Jr. Even Jr. Well, this could be a Sue Ellen. <laughs> this is a Sue Ellen. This is where someone sued somebody and they said, "I'm going to sue you." <laughs> the Pisces probably won, maybe. I don't know, but I'm going to sue you, <clears throat> or I'm soon going to see you. Man, y'all can get some different flavors through these messages. Like I said, when I channel, when I read, you're looking at five placements that can be watching. <laughs> so, and that can mean you or your partner. So, just watch them all, Taurus. But like, um, it's like I'm soon going to be seeing you because I'm leaving to go towards a Pisces, basically, for a lot of you. And you could have just met them in the past, and you kind of got this very curious energy of like, well, I'm going to have to go and see this Pisces and see what they say about it. You know, say for instance, if you're a Taurus, right, and you've got siblings, daughters, sons, all that kind of thing. Because I'm bringing up sons, daughters, mothers, some mothers do have them, quite a lot of family. You can watch it and you know that probably one of them is going to see a Pisces, <laughs> right? So, you know, there's ways of looking at tarot. You don't have to just be like, well, that doesn't really relate. No, because it's probably your relations here. Yeah. And your relations are probably off to see a wizard here. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. I'm off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. I'm going, I'm going to Australia for a lot of you, probably. Going to Australia or from, off, or from Australia? It's like, oh no, don't go and see Kathy. No, she lives in Australia. Don't go and see that one. Oh, that's probably, you probably did. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Who was that? I think it was Aries. Where I said, uh, oh, 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 you did do it. What I said, don't do, you did do. So someone did. Yeah, or well, they did. Yeah, they did. They probably went to see Kathy in Australia. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> if you're from Australia, you've got to be following this channel for a while to know what I mean. Okay, but uh, anyway. Fish bait. Okay, alluring energy of a fish. So, uh, let's see. Cat. Cat. You alright, cat? <laughs> but like, uh, catfish. Catfishing. Oh, catfishing. Damn. I mean, you could be going towards this person, or had been, but you probably realised that they were married. Or that you're trying to leave a divorce behind. This is grandparents, parents, stepfathers are all here. This is the Stepford wives, bruv. I mean, is it King, what's his name, that had 10 wives, 15 kids and 35 children? I don't know. So you could be dealing with the seven dwarves. Eepy, deepy, sleepy, deepy, dopey and whoever. But like, um, it's alright, you can sleep here. That's what I'm hearing. Like, you can stay here, you can sleep here if you want. So something's been going on, uh, Taurus. Because you're here. And you should be, well, you should be with your partner. For a lot of you here, you are actually married or engaged. Yeah. And if you're probably interested in someone, you know there's a third party Meg Ryan here with a piece on the side. That's probably because this person is married if you've really been struggling trying to get in or out of a marriage. Because that would be the other woman that is married with a Taurus energy. That could be another one. Okay. But we will find out, Taurus. What's been going on with Taurus? Something rising Venus and Jupiter. Because whichever way you look at it, this Aries Leo person, Aquarian, but Virgo, <laughs> anybody, but somebody wants to go and see here, wants to go and see Pisces, the grandmother, the children, the mother, the father. They want to go and see them here. 
or they want to leave to go and see this as a relationship partner. And this is something that somebody has been discussing in the Eight of Cups. What you may not be able to see, but what I can is, is that they have been discussing that with family members about going to see this person. Now, whether this person here has been discussing it with this person or not, we'll only find out when we clarify. But the Eight of Cups is somebody that discusses about going to see something because they have to leave a person, place or thing. So they discuss about here, about the relationship as it stands, about something that this person has been interested in going to see or to visit or to speak to, which means that this can be the Empress, the Hierophant, which means I need to go and see about my relationship. I need to go back to my father or my stepfather to talk to them about what's been going on in my relationship. I need to seek out counsel. We need to look at marriage counselling. Or I go to see the in-laws and the relatives to talk to them about what's been going on in my relationship. Yeah. Okay. For a lot of you. Let's see. Uh, Taurus, Sun, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. One more card, please, for what's been going on with Taurus. Here, yeah, wow, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I need to go and see a man about a cat, basically. And so this could be cat. Cat, you're right, sweetheart. How's things been going here? But uh, I'm getting wrapped up in all of this now. I seem to find my love again. My love does it good. Oh, my love. Only my love holds the other key to me, oh my love. Paul or McCartney, listen Paul, keeps coming up in my energy just lately, good old Paul McCartney. Or McGinty or McKinney. Um, but yeah, for a lot of you, your loving relationship is definitely present here for a lot of you. For a lot of you. These are coupled relationship marriages. If you're trying to get in, it's because somebody already is, right? If you've been really struggling, it's because somebody already is. Okay. Um, the in-laws, gone to see the in-laws, gone back to see the mother, the father, the stepfather, and I'm kind of like going in between children, going between ex, all that kind of thing, going to see the king, king of wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, normally Leo for me. Um, but Taurus, so these can be siblings, okay? And that it's just been discussing about... You see, eight is someone that left someone. That got dumped or got left. So this is an energy where there could be a single person here. And these are the people that they're talking to about a person. Right? And because Aquarius is and people have all gone back to pasts and ended up on their own. Now someone is, feels alone. And what they've done is, is basically, if you've not got any action as such, Jackson, or from Jacksonville... But if you haven't got any action, then basically it's because this is just family, that this person here is individually seeking out and talking to about their relationship. Now, that's either you or a person, but they're talking to their family about what's going on in their life and about in what's going on in their relationship, right? Now, if not, and you are speaking to someone, and you are talking to someone, and you do have that person in mind, it's because it's this person that is talking to family members about going to see this person here or talk to this person as a potential relationship partner for a lot of you, okay? That's what's been going on as such. Uh, what's the Eight of Cups? Eight of Cups for Taurus. Eight of Cups for Taurus. Why is this Eight of Cups been here? The moon, yeah, the mum has been present here, very much so, okay, because things things just never really come into fruition, they were just kind of like more cloud and dark, gloomy days, which is rainy days and Mondays, I don't like Mondays, tell me why, well I don't like Mondays, tell me why, because <laughs> I don't like them, that's why, because they get me down, rainy days and Mondays always get me down, tell me why, because I don't like Mondays, tell me why I don't like Mondays. But I'll tell you what I do like. Happy Mondays. Oh yes, baby, we like Happy Mondays, right? Any Happy Mondays? Happy Monday fan? fan what, uh, anybody like Happy Mondays? Y'all know what I mean? Uh, you definitely would if you believe in freedom, right? Oh, wow. 
Wow, old man, you're definitely going like to parents, grandparents, stepfather, stepford wives kind of energy here. I mean, is this a divorce? Because, man, if it is, I mean, you've got kids or uh, had a life of this person, that's for sure. Had away, hide away. But, um, yeah. I mean, the empress and the emperor, their stepmother, they're a, like a, a people that got married out of wedlock or they were married and got divorced and got married to someone else that is now the stepfather. That's the Empress and the and Taurus energy, which means a divorce, but a potential partner. That also means that I am now divorced and single and just met somebody, or uh, I am a married person, uh, or the person you're interested in, like, was married, okay? Um, bro, if y'all get confused... <laughs> <laughs> the horror front twice. I mean, you couldn't get a stronger commitment than that. The horror front. The horror front for Taurus. Yeah, kids, children, talking. You should have been talking here at least. Talking. Someone that you got your eye on. Lie on. Probably a Leo. King of Wands. King of Cups. Holy shit, bruv. I mean, y'all got to be in love with this person, whatever it is. You are not, can't be in denial over here, or someone is. Because of the moon, which means that I got dumped, or I am on my own. But as one door closed, another one opened. And if it didn't for me, then it did for the other person. Which means that I moved on, slowly started to move on and met somebody. Because this energy here is the leading two cards. Which means that I'm just now going to have to talk to my mum, right? But I keep picking up there's this energy, I'm going to have to talk to my mum first before I make this decision to come here, right? Because someone's building up a connection with someone and they realise that in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to talk to my mum first. Now, but there is also a, a lonely energy here, which means <coughs> of other messages that are here is, is that someone isn't got a love interest and that they are on their own, and they're talking to their siblings of what went on with these people, okay? And that they are on their own, and they're thinking about approaching an energy back to see if there's reconciliation, okay? And this can be discussed with siblings of fathers and stepmothers and fathers. I'm thinking about approaching this person back into their life to see if there's a chance for me to get back into it. Now, if that person isn't here, that's probably because this reading may not have come out just yet, <laughs> right? But these people are definitely talking about these two here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, right? And uh, they're on about talking about uh, reconciliation and is, it a, is there a chance for that to actually happen? Because um, I can't, because for some reason I'm looking at past, but for some reason I don't know if this has physically happened yet right and uh it feels to me as if this person is approaching is approaching because there's no clear signs of communication because for some reason i'm picking this hierophant up as somebody here could well be talking about a potential partnership with a person now that's either because somebody is talking to their parents about shall i go back and go here shall i lie shall i lie right or shall i do that or shall i not is all, all I keep hearing. Should I? Should I not? What should I do? And they're asking for advice. And I don't know if they've actually approached the love interest yet, or a roach, which would be Pisces, because it's a fish. I don't know if I'm going to approach them yet in order to ask them. So I'm having to seek counsel, guidance, or a tarot card reader, or family, or friends, and ask, do you think I should approach this person and ask them back out, or ask them out? So if that person hasn't, it's because they're talking with siblings to see if that's what they should do, okay? Could be you. Still can't ever tell if it's you or them, okay? But they're definitely talking about approaching someone to ask them to go back into a relationship. That's if someone, if, you know, if you're in relationships and it's all gravy and cushy, then, you know, you're obviously looking for other messages of other things, right? Um, of what would come up for your month. But as it stands here as what I'm seeing is, is that 
as a person here is discussing with their family to approach a person to see if they are available in a relationship, there's a possibility here that someone could have been focusing on another relationship, and that's why Meg Ryan's here, right, and Billy Crystal, is because this person is talking to a person about a potential forward relationship, and as a deeper vision of a tarot reading, somebody is on their own talking to their mother and their stepfather, should I approach this person to ask them to go out? If this person hasn't com communicated with a person, it might be, because it depends what comes up, that this person is thinking about somebody else here, about a person to go into a relationship with. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I have to look at it as five signs, right? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. So if you're watching it as a Jupiter or a Venus, you would see it slightly different to what you would if it was your sun sign, right? Because you can always have cross watchers that cross watch energy. So why I try to look deeper is because that's what I'm saying is your reading has been. Is is that someone has been seeking counsel, advice, been looking for tarot card reading, trying to find advice, spying on a person possible, right? Unknowingly, unknowingly that someone's been seeking advice about a person, right? looking into their personal history or their personal life to find out is there a chance that we can be in a relationship but if there's a person here on the outskirts that was left okay that was left on their own they went back to their mother and spoke to their mother about approaching as they do a person here could be talking to another right trust me that's the, that's what i see in this dynamic energy ish that's obviously a fish, <laughs> but um, if um, if you're in a relationship and it's all cushy and gravy, then there's no drama, right? There's no drama here, because, like I said, this is our very like you're not with a person and there's a divorce and you're seeking like family support and people like that, okay? Because generally, if everything is cushy and gravy in your life, then Basically, the only reason you watch tarot is just for a support in energy or just for look for other messages, right? So if there's the divorce here, then there's more help and support from friends and family. And at that time, there's a possible connection that is made through that here that is loving. Because these are also a lot of strong, major kind of cards of people, court cards families, siblings, brothers, sisters, seeking help, seeking support, the name seekings, right? But seeking help and support in order to get over something that was ended in a person's life that went back to siblings to find out and get support during that time, okay? But if you're with your partner, then these are just stepfathers and stepmothers and stepwives and so on and so forth and you live with your partner, it's all gravy, it's all cushy, but you just pretty much, you know, spend your time at different houses, at their house, at your house, at their house, at your house, or at least talking, right? <coughs> but <coughs> for a lot, I am picking up a message here, though, that somebody is on their own as an individual not in a relationship that is talking to their parents about approaching a person, but for some reason, I keep picking up, though, that this person is focusing on another, is focusing on another person, okay? So, let's see the aftermath of that. <laughs> let's see the aftermath of that. Uh, I shouldn't have used those cards, but I did. Should have used those ones. So let's see what happens now starting to come up for your February tarot card reading for Taurus Aquarius <laughs> pieces of them everywhere people going left backwards and forwards I told you some people they were going back to mothers that are Aquarius some people have got siblings and children and, uh, and children that are Aquarius 
Some people had a Venus Aquarius that left an Aquarius moon and they went back to a partner that was an Aquarian. Don't get lost, <laughs> okay, because I've picked it up for the last couple of months that a lot of people had the same placements that's confusing people, right? So don't get lost with who's who here. Because I have to, I always say that now when it comes up with an Aquarian because those messages have been coming up for those quite a lot, okay? So your dream is here and your wish is here and your wish is my command for somebody, okay? Uh, following your desire, definitely, okay? Volivanting? Vol <laughs> you might be throwing up. But uh, if you're pregnant, but uh, volunteering, I'm also hearing a volunteer, like a volunteer, someone that volunteers quite a lot in order to do things, that's very caring, very giving, and they volunteer to do things for free, okay, for free. Because I'm hearing uh, chicks for free, checks for free. Czechoslovakia or uh, Kavalowskis. <laughs> Rich, are you watching, bruv? Are you? <laughs> But uh, Kavalowskis, or Caroline, um, let's see, um, Taurus, what's coming up for Taurus? <whistles> Holy poo smokes, money, 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 money makes the world go round, oh yes it does, with my kids and children here, but... Like I said, you're definitely thinking about talking with someone that is very stable in your life here, Taurus. Like I said, for a lot of you, you're in relationship here and it's quite gravy and cushy and there's no troubles whatsoever, okay? Um, but like I said, you can look at also, I mean, I don't personally, well, it's, <laughs> I find it very difficult. Oh, I'm not going to mention readings and stuff, but um, you can also look at your descending. Right, which is mine, um, but you can look at a Taurus descending as well. Um, but you've got someone here that is um, very well off, financially stable. Someone is a mother or a father because it might be the person that you're interested in has a boy here because there's something about the boy, so they have a boy, so they have a child. Now, if this is the person that you're working it out. You have kids with this person, definitely, right? And if you don't, then the person that you meet has a child, right? They have a child, or they are one, right? Sweet child of mine, Guns and Roses, Rosie, Roses, Rose. Um, but yeah, definitely thinking about work, that's for sure, like a plan and an idea in order to be able to be more self-sufficient and earn more money, that's for sure. It could be homework, okay? working from home, unless you've got a business that you go to. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're in relationship here and everything, pff, there's no worries whatsoever. Um, let's see, Taurus. Taurus, sun and rising, Venus and Jupiter for February. Taurus, sun and rising, Jupiter for February 2021 for Taurus. Yeah, wow, well, same cards that were coming out here. So it's just a continuation of the same. Someone could be talking to two people if you're on, all on the energy of talking, but if it's just one person, you, you're, def you're definitely talking here. Here. One more card, please, for Taurus. Some of rising Venus and Jupiter. Devil, man, y'all got the same. Who had that? Oh, I can't remember. You have to watch your readings because I don't know if it was yours or Aries. I don't know. Uh, the devil, the devil in disguise, playing devil's advocate, but basically cut. That that was it. It was, it was Aries, and it was involving Sagittarius. Okay, uh, and I'm doing Taurus. Sorry, don't get lost. Taurus, I'm doing your reading. But it was an Aries reading I was doing, but it was involving a Sagittarius. And it was, you took away this uh, largest part of me. Uh, yeah, you took away, the. well, basically you took my eldest. 
you took my eldest away, which is, this was uh, an older, an older person, or my eldest, which was a sibling here, because it's a child. This is a Capricorn child, an older daughter or sister or brother, but it's a sibling here, and you took away the largest part of me here. So there could have been a divorce here, and there's a settlement energy being settled but still unsettled because of a devil energy being here where there's still toxicity that runs through the family because this knight of swords could be a sibling that goes off to this ten of pentacles you see that if you've got kids they all flew the nest and they one flew over the cuckoo's nest and they're going all their separate ways to their relationships to the ten of pentacles to work backwards and forwards but also to their relationships right because if you have kids, here they are, right, doing this. Working, earning money, and going to their relationships. And that might be because you took away the biggest part of me, which was my son or my daughter, okay, here. But because there's fathers and stepfathers, this could be a stepdaughter or a stepson here for a lot, right? Now, if not, and this is a grown-ass adult and they have kids then it's the Capricorn's child here, which turns this into uh, that they could have kids. This Capricorn could have a child, a boy here. The Knight of Swords would be more of a boy than a girl to me. But um, yeah, has a boy, something about the boy. Uh, man, I mean, like I said, for a lot of you, your message is, they're not toxic at the moment unless you're really struggling with divorce and trying to get into a Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan effect, you know. Because um, there's kind of more of an aftermath reading of where uh, it can be a separation of assets and stuff. Um, but majority of this, it shows me that these people are physically in relationships here. If not, these two here are pairing up. I'm saying these two are paired up. They're new, fresh people that are being paired up spiritually through this, through a connection that they've got of one, basically. So it's a new beginning and a fresh start. Could be involving Aries. But, um, yeah, a fresh new beginning and a fresh new start and a new person that are, that are heading towards relationship. Now, that could be... Kids starting off, a fresh new life at college, at school, education, rights, blah, 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 so on and so forth. New job, okay? New job, new contract. But they can be people that are being paired up for a relationship as well here. Okay? Kids that are old enough here to go into a relationship. So if that's individual and these are not children, these are people that are talking about relationship here. You can't get away from it because these are someone here. Okay, so as you're reading so far, uh, Taurus, <coughs> um, we are going to, um, I think I've caught up with everything, um, we're going to do your full spread now, this goes to both tiers, tier 1 and tier 2, okay, it's just basic quick sort of reading, 25 minute, 30 minute reading, full spread, clarified, generally see what you've got coming up. If you are part of the full access bundle, though, that is where you get bi-weekly. Your yearly readings are there, so you can go and watch all those. Your bi-weekly readings will be going there. The bonus readings go there. Uh, I think I might do uh, singles and couples. Well, I'm not going to might do it. I am going to do it for the bi-weeklies, which would be on the other side. It would be for people that are coupled and for people that are singled. Okay? And what goes on for your two weeks? Okay, as a couple and singles. I might also do the um, life path readings this month. <coughs> so we'll bring that back again. Okay, so if you don't know your life path number, just look it up, Google, type it in Google or YouTube, how to calculate my life path number. And if you don't want to do that, you can look below. And there is a link that takes you straight to a website. You just put in your time or whatever it says, and it calculates it. It's so easy. All you need is your date of birth, you don't need your time, you just need your date of birth, right? For me, 1976, right? Date of birth. It calculates it for you. Okay? Um, 
so you can look at it up there but I will be bringing back hopefully the um, life path readings um, but this one like I said at the moment I will explain as I come back on but at the moment this goes to both tiers tier 1 and tier 2 but if you are on part of tier 2 and you're a rolling member you obviously know what you get when you get over there because there's plethoras of backlogs of readings and future ones okay with different kinds of questions uh, you, oh actually you also have your um, your soul contract reading over there as well okay but anyway the choice is yours thanks very much uh, Taurus and uh, I will hopefully see you over there